video editing software on Mac. Now there's a ton of options out there and some awesome new players that have entered the market over the past few years. For anyone that's considering options, it can be pretty overwhelming to know where to start, whether you're already using the best software and what your upgrade options are. So after testing a heap of options, in this video, we're gonna cover my recommendations across every price bracket. No matter what your budget, whether you're just getting started with video and you don't know where to begin, you're considering an upgrade from your current software, or if you've been editing for years and you just wanna know that you're using the best software out there for you, then stay tuned. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we teach you to get better results with your videos faster. So now onto the software. We're gonna break this down into three categories so you know exactly where to look no matter what your budget. And first up is free software. So the free software options are just going ahead in leaps and bounds. Some of the free software that's available these days totally beats out a lot of the paid options that were available just a few years ago. In this pricing bracket, you would expect to see things like iMovie, but as it turns out, iMovie's not actually free anymore. So we'll cover that in the next category. So in this category, we've actually got some new options and they're really good. We've got things like DaVinci Resolve, HitFilm, and Lightworks. Now all three of these are actually cut down or light versions of their full parent software, or the full professional package of that software. But that doesn't necessarily make that a bad thing. All three of these options are really good options for free video editing software. And they all then have the upgrade path to the full professional version if and when you need it. All three are quite comprehensive packages and they offer a high degree of flexibility for all new and intermediate editors. I personally really like the interface and the workflow of DaVinci Resolve, not to mention its insanely awesome color correction capabilities. I really like HitFilm for its simplicity when it comes to video editing, but also its special effects capabilities. Lightworks is also a really solid solution and it's also really powerful. It also works on Linux as well, so for all you Linux users out there, then check it out. Now it's a really tough choice, but if I had to pick one, my pick would be DaVinci Resolve. I really like the way that it almost mimics Adobe Premiere. It's got an awesome workflow, it's really easy to use, and it's got incredibly awesome color correction capabilities. If you are gonna be editing videos that were created on cheaper consumer cameras and not professional cameras, then it's highly likely that you'll have to convert or transcode your video files before you're able to edit them in DaVinci Resolve. If that's gonna be a problem for you, then check out HitFilm or Lightworks because they both seem to support a larger range of file types straight out of the box. Next up, we're jumping to the sub $199 price point. We are talking US dollars here. Now really here, the difference between the free software and what you'll find in this category, in most cases, is that your software packages are a complete end-to-end -end solution. So for example, Lightworks Free, which we spoke about in the free software category, has a limitation on the files that you can export. In Lightworks, you actually can't export a full master file or a full completed video file of your video. All you can do is export to Vimeo at 1080p or to YouTube, you can actually only export at a maximum resolution of 720p. So back in this pricing bracket of sub $199, you can expect that your video editing software here is generally an end-to-end -end solution. There aren't many restrictions, if any, placed on the video editing software. So what that really means is in most cases, you won't have to convert or transcode your footage to a different format to be able to edit it. You shouldn't have any limitations on the video files that you're able to export. So in this category, you've got software like iMovie, which they now sell for $14.99. You've got Wondershare Filmora, you've got ScreenFlow, and you've got Adobe Premiere Elements, which is the cut down version of Adobe Premiere Pro. And these pieces of software are also bringing in things like 4K video editing, 360 degree VR footage that you're able to edit as well, things like GPU rendering, which is where you're using your video card or your GPU to take most of the load off your processor, so your rendering times are a lot faster. The standouts for me in this category are ScreenFlow and Adobe Premiere Elements. ScreenFlow is awesome for screen capturing, but also for video editing. Editing in ScreenFlow is so easy, but still really powerful. I really like the interface and the workflow and the power that you have over your editing in Adobe Premiere Elements. Just makes it really easy to get your content in and out quick. And also with it being a sort of cut down version of the full Adobe Premiere Pro, then it's great to have that as an upgrade path. If you get used to one and you're looking for more features, then it's an easy logical step to jump to Premiere Pro. And the other one that I need to mention is Wondershare Filmora. Really for the under the $50 price point, 
It is great video editing software and it's really powerful as well. So if I had to pick one of those, my choice would be Adobe Premiere Elements. Again, I really like the upgrade path to Adobe Premiere Pro, but I also really like the interface and the workflow of Premiere Elements. So now we're gonna look at the $199 and above pricing category, which also includes subscription options as well. So really the biggest difference with this category is that this is your full professional video editing software. These programs are all insanely powerful. They'll all allow you to get right down to frame by frame based editing. So, so much control over your actual storytelling. You'll have great audio controls. You'll be able to mix your frame rates, mix the file types that you're bringing in, and you won't need to convert your files in order to be able to edit them. So all the latest and greatest technology when it comes to video editing, it's in these packages. So the software in this category includes things like Lightworks Pro, Final Cut Pro 10, HitFilm Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Avid Media Composer. Now one thing to note that Adobe Premiere Pro in this category is subscription only. You can't go and just pay the one-off fee and then you own the software. The only way that you can get Adobe Premiere Pro or get the latest version of it anyway is to sign on for a monthly or annual fee. Lightworks and Avid also have subscription options, but at the time of recording this video, you can still buy them outright as well. Now before we jump into my recommendation, it's really important to note here that it is personal preference. Really, there's that many options out there and what works best for me may not work best for you. The best editors out there can jump from platform to platform or program to program because they are just tools to getting the job done. So when you look at them that way, probably the best thing you could do is to try as many different programs as you can to see which one does everything that you're after, to see which one is the easiest for you to use, has the most power and performance for what you're looking to achieve. But at the end of the day, it's which one's gonna allow you to tell the stories that you wanna tell. So after testing and using all of these, the standouts for me are Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro. I really like the way that Final Cut Pro 10 just renders everything in the background and it's easy to get great results and get your videos in and get them out really quick. I really like the power and the performance in Adobe Premiere. I really like the integration that it has with After Effects and Photoshop. So the whole Adobe suite just works so well together. Now, if I had to pick between the two, my personal preference would be Final Cut 10. Now, I never would have thought that I would have said that and not that long ago, I definitely wouldn't have said that but purely based on the background rendering and how powerful that is and how much time that that saves, for me, that's a game changer and it's totally changed my editing workflow. I still use Adobe Premiere Pro a lot, but right now my go-to is Final Cut 10. So before we do a quick recap on my top recommendations, wherever you can download either as many of the free versions as you can, or get as many 30-day trial versions of the different programs as you can and try them and see which one works best for you. So in the free category, my recommendation is DaVinci Resolve. In the sub $199 price category, my recommendation is Adobe Premiere Elements. And in the $199 and above pricing category, my recommendation is Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, there's a ton of options out there and they've all got different workflows. The best way to figure out what's right for you is to trial a few and see what works. Starting with these recommendations, you really can't go wrong. If you're looking to improve the quality and the speed of your video editing, then make sure you grab our free guide running through the ultimate video editing process. There's a ton of tips in there to help you create awesome quality videos faster, and it's completely free. Just hit the link on screen now to grab your copy. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a thumbs up, and a comment. It really makes a huge difference. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. I'll see you next time.